This is something that I find quite annoying when I'm shopping eBay for products. I search for my product and then I get a list of the results. And when I start clicking the listings to check them out, they end up popping up in a new tab. And so I check out the product, go through it, and then I decide I wanna keep shopping. So I hit the back button on my mouse or in the browser and I realize, okay, that doesn't do anything. Then I remember, oh, I'm shopping at eBay. Uh, it keeps opening new tabs. So I have to go back to the tab list and click the original listing. All right, so let's go to another product. All right, and we get another new tab. I think you can see how this can get very annoying very quickly. So besides the back button not working and then me realizing, oh, I have to go and click the original listing tab. After a while, you build up a bunch of tabs in the top of your browser. And if you already have stuff that is open, all of these tabs get so condensed that you can barely see or make out what each tab is without actually having to click on it. Okay, I think that's enough of my rant. So let's fix this. The good part is to fix it across all browsers, meaning no matter what browser you have, the option to disable it is the same. So for Chrome browsers, Internet Explorer browsers, and Firefox browsers, and whatever other browser that you're using, the following is gonna work. First, close all the tabs, except for the main search tab. So what you wanna do is scroll to the top of your page and go over to where it says sort. And there's a drop down next to it with a hamburger icon and click the drop down. And you wanna customize, left click customize. You can customize your search. And the customization that we wanna make is to open item page in same tab. By default in eBay, they set this to new tab, but you actually want same tab. And then you just want to click apply changes. Now let's try clicking on an item from the eBay search results. All right. And we didn't get a new tab. So we can look at our product. When we're finished, we can hit the back button and it goes back to the listing. Now we scroll down the page. All right. And towards the bottom of the page, we'll just pick out any listing, left click on it. And we'll look at the item, check it out, read the description, and then hit the back button. And the purpose of that was just to show you that the back button will not bring you to the top of the page. It'll bring you back to right where you left off in the search. So you can continue scrolling.